Hi, I'm Justin from Brickwright. Been doing this a long time now, 31 years, so hopefully we should know uh, what we're doing, shouldn't we, Brad? Yep. Good. Right, so this is where we are. So it's a windy day down in Cardiff today, so we're not going to be on the extension outside. It's a bit dangerous. So we decided to come in, do some internal work, stay safe out of the weather. So what we've got going on here is knocking through a doorway and putting a new lintel into the existing property. So this is what we're doing. So this is a... Um, a strong boy and, a, and an acro together. This holds up the existing part of the wall via this mechanism here. You just tighten it up, drill a pocket, put the strong boy in, tighten it all up to the brick with the bub. That's not going anywhere. So that's safe to knock things down below it. A lot of the lads wouldn't put this in because it's only a you know a 900 uh, opening. So that, that they think that, that that's okay, but obviously we don't. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that the customer's property and we're safe whilst we're doing the work. So we've done that. Brad's kindly disc cut these vertical lines either side here with a disc cutter, gone in as deep as he possibly can. Now we're at a stage where we've hacked the render off pretty much and we're going to be looking where the lintel, the pre-stressed lintel is going in. Now what a pre-stressed lintel is, it means it's got steel within the concrete of the lintel to give it an added strength. So that's a building regs requirement for us to put that in in order to keep everything above it in place when we finish. So that's what we're doing. We'll come back to it in a little, a little bit longer to um, to see where we are and how we've progressed with it. But uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Right. So we're halfway down taking. Got my mask on. Oh, I haven't now. Right. We're halfway down taking this down now. So a little few things that we've learned by just taking this little bit of a wall down. If you come over here, right? Let's have a little look at this. So this is a, a new mechanical wall tie. So the t this tells me that this property has had brand new wall ties. Reason being, this is the wall tie that came out. So this is the old fishtail wall tie. So that would have sat on the internal skin. And then the external skin would have been here. But because it's facing the outside and it's a steel wall tie, the fish part of the wall tie, which is this bit here, has actually snapped off. And uh, so the wall tie is rendered then ineffective. So the wall ties have failed on the house, which is not unusual in, in this area with all the water and the 1930s build that this property is. So they're defective. So they put these new mechanical wall tie systems in. So what they do is they drill through, um, ideally the center of the brick outside, through to the inside. So they're connected, poke this wall tie in, epoxy resin on the inside, that sets and binds the inside. On the outside, they mechanically wind it up like a wall plug or a raw plug, that expands and it ties the two together. So in effect, put in a new wall tie system in, in the house. And then um, what they should have done, and they haven't, is this, this old wall tie, that's left in the cavity then. So they should have put a grease bun over the top of it. It's like a plastic bun with grease inside it, which goes over the top. And that stops that rusting and expanding and creating any further damage in the future. So they haven't done that, but that's just their point. And also, the house has been, there's a new cavity wall insulation. Now obviously we put cavity wall insulation in houses, brand new, new builds, extensions like we're doing at the back. But these houses weren't built with wall insulation. So they, they've added this in. I'm not a fan, being a bricklayer. They completely fill the cavity. Um, so there's no air in the cavity. So the cavity was designed to, to, to have air passing through it. So the damp wouldn't pass through from outside to inside because the cavity is acting as just an air gap. Mo moisture can't pass through air. So what they've done is they filled that air gap, that moisture gap, and, and filled it with this. So a lot of this was getting wet over the years and creating mold and damp on the inside of the house, but the house is lovely and warm. So, you know, am I a fan? No, not, not really. So this is where we are with it. Just thought I'd show you that, what we've learned in terms of just taking this down. So you can always pick something up and you start exposing the property. So we'll carry on now. Um, we're in a bit of a rush now to get this done by the end of the day. So we'll, we'll carry on taking this down and then we'll show you um, how the lintel's gonna go in. So we've put the, we've cut this back. So the lintel's gonna have a minimum of 150 or six inches on the bearing to sit on this brickwork. So we'll put the lintel in and do the same this side. We we'll get the lintel up, we'll get it all shored up, get it all packed up and finished, and then we'll uh, we'll show you what it looks like at the end. Any questions? Um, just just let me know. Press pause, Brad. Right, here we are back again to uh, show you the finished article. So, seen the video in stages now. So we've managed to put this in. 
And uh, it's been a bit of a rush, Brad, to be honest, isn't it, this yeah. afternoon? Yeah. Left ourselves not enough uh, hours in the day, but uh, we've managed to get it done for a big effort in. So we put this concrete pre-stressed lintel in, um, put the brickwork in, we pinned everything up in there, we put some slate in there, wedged some slate in, so all that is, is pinned up. We put sand and cement in there, wedged and wedged and wedged it all in. The strong boy that was here has been taken down, so the proof is it stays there, so we must have done something right. Um, the only key thing, well, say only, one of the key things with doing a lintel as well, is some of the lintel, minimum bearing. The bearing is that where the lintel sits on the brickwork, so that distance there is a bearing. So the minimum requirement um, is 150 millimetres or, or six inches. So we've got just over that there, and because we've got um, it going up to outside here, the brickwork carrying on to outside, uh, stipulated on the plan 150 so we've done that so we've got 150 millimeters there um yeah so we just got the outside one to do now so that's the internal skin to do got the outside one to do so hope you've uh, enjoyed the watch and uh, any comments leave them below um i'll be happy to help you and press the subscribe button see you again all the best thank you very much